Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the DEF CON 2 tournament. Over $1,000 now on the line in this tournament. I'm your host, Bandana, and tonight we have a very special game. Eugen Systems as La Team taking on fellow Leopard 2 conservationists. Playing for Eugen are Grand Strateger and Damned. And over on the other team playing for fellow Leopard 2 conservationists are Wero and Mandos. Grand Strateger is one of the top dogs over at Eugen. He's one of the brothers that actually run the company, so big name there. And damned people may remember from playing in previous charity events and also some of the Friday Night Warno events. He himself is actually a pretty good player and isn't terrible in 1v1 or at least wasn't in the past. Grand Strateger, I have no idea. We will see how this goes. Wero and Mandos, on the other hand, very well-known players, have played in various tournaments that I've cast before. Nice to see those guys back as well. Okay, what about the bands? So, map bands were Airport, Twin Cities, and Cyrus. And the choice was Teufel's Moor for this game. The division bands for this game were 8th Infantry and 3rd Armors, on behalf of Wero and Mandos. And the Eugen team banned KDA and 4th MSD. Division picks were then 79th Tank Brigade and the Berliner Gruppierung for Wero and Mandos. And the 82nd Airborne and 11th Armoured Cavalry for Grand Strateger and Damned. Okay, let's have a look at what these guys have down. So starting with Eugen Systems. Scouts over here for Grand Strategy heading up to the front line. No surprise there. A few units at the back here I don't want to forget about. We've got Engineers Flash, a couple of M1A1 Abrams, a couple of Pivads, and an M1A1 Abrams Command Tank. All being quite aggressive here, pushing right up to the front. Getting really close to Delta. This is quite aggressive. We have a mixture of units from Damned and Grand Strategy over here. Pushing up quite far. Obviously, we've got Airborne Engineers, Airborne Fire Team Dragon, an Airborne Team, two sets of scouts, two LRS, and an ACAV, all pushing up pretty aggressively here. Looks like they're trying to double team to get into Delta. Airborne Scouts at this side also moving up across the center there to get into that building. At this far side, we have some Stingers and an LRS pushing up into quite forward positions here, defensively in front of Golf. An airborne leader pushing up quite far to the front of Golf, strangely, not just dropping off at the back. We've got some airborne engineers, airborne and airborne scouts, again, just getting into various positions at the front here. I'm not sure if this is the best positioning for them to get into the positions. I'm sure there's closer roads. And then over here we have a Stinger, a Tow 2, an LRS, and a Humvee Tow, all heading up to this area of the map. That seems like quite a lot of units to expend over here, but maybe he's planning to push up with them later. We also have some supply at the back there coming in just to sit in golf. Okay, bit of a spread. Heavy focus at this side of the map, though, for the Eugen team. Let's spin round. Wero and Mandos, obviously pretty experienced in... Various tournaments. I'm not sure if they've played in a 2v2 tournament before together. They may well have done. BRDM2 heading over this way just to get eyes on this side. It's quite an open area, so that's a good position. Spetsnaz Gru heading up. Ooh, not going too far forward here, just heading for those buildings. Falsham Jaeger. A little bit more aggressive. Going to be contesting these buildings along with Dam's airborne units. We've got a Motraz Vedka back here, pushing up again, not too aggressively. At the back here, we've got a Modestralki, Conkers, and Modestralki in a BMP, as well as a T-80, BV, IZD-29, all pushing up to here. Again, not being too aggressive here, obviously aware there are airborne forces on the other side. So just getting into a more defensive position for Delta. Back here, we have a couple of supply trucks, a 120mm mortar, a couple of cubs, and a T-80 BVK pushing up through Charlie and into Delta. Again, looking very defensive over this side. And this is all Mando's units. Just one squad of Falsham Jaeger from Wero there trying to hold the front. Interesting. 
BRDM2 in the centre here for Mandos as well, pushing up to this side just to try and keep eyes on. And we have a Conkers back here pushing up into this building. Now this feels quite far forward, but it's actually not too far forward, is it? If you compare it to their side of the map. It feels far forward for an anti-tank unit on its own though, with no anti-air. Here we have Falshrim Jaeger, Falshrim Strellas, and Falshrim Jaeger Metis. Oh, oh wow. I take it all back. In coordination with Mandos and his anti-tank unit moving in here, these guys are pushing up really far into the middle of the map here to contest this town area. Okay. Again, another couple of meta squads pushing up pretty early into the church here and also this building there. We'll have decent eyes on down there, but not quite cover this road. And this one does, however, cover... That's actually very nice eyes on in that church got a couple of strella squads here also pushing up to assist and hold that front line and then here we've got some australas some falsham jaeger and some jaeger metis again all pushing up here looking very defensive here just the same as damned is we do have some more units at the back that we shouldn't forget about we have t55 and a biriusa and a command those not too aggressive just kind of defensively further back and then randomly a couple of t55 am2s just rolling up the side here no recon over there though so they will be good defense but they won't do much against the humvee toe and the toe too they'll simply be outmatched there interesting okay i'm expecting some early fighting here and potentially a little bit of early fighting up here as well Let's switch over to the controller and get this show on the road. As I say, I don't know what to expect from Grand Strategy. Damned isn't a bad player. But Grand Strategy, I don't know if he plays a lot. I mean, he's the boss of the company. I can't imagine he plays the game a huge amount. Um, I certainly wouldn't expect to be playing the game a huge amount if I was running the company. Now, a 2v2 tournament is always a difficult one to cast because there's a lot going on across bigger maps. It's not like doing a 1v1, so I apologize if I miss anything. But I will attempt to capture everything I can of interest. And the skirmishing has begun down here. I'm trying to keep eyes on the entire front line. Tor being marked immediately. Good marking by the other team here. Where Mando's obviously reasonably experienced in the game will know they need to mark stuff. TADBV already getting some shots in on the LRS here. I don't think these airborne and the LRS are going to survive too long. Akav further back here, the M1A1 Akav. Very strong unit, but a little bit far back there. Can't really engage the other T80s at the moment. Is having to dodge the ATGMs. Good use of seed. Good call in there. Took out one cub immediately. Over at this side, the skirmishing has begun between the infantry. Toe 2 here. Takes a shot. Trying to go for this actual truck rather than the T-55, which I don't think you can see at the moment. Damned has had to pull back a little bit here. Moving into a more defensive position for the point itself. At this side, the fight continues. Looks like the M1A1 Akav was destroyed at this far side. That T-80BV being pretty aggressive here. Lots of shots coming in against those Abrams. Smoke coming in here from Wero and Mandos. I'm not sure why they're smoking this building. As the LRS should be able to see over the top of that smoke, I would think. They have the height advantage. 
80, 80 BV being really aggressive here. Seed coming back for another pass. There's a book in now and another cub on the way in at the top corner of the screen there. Just Oh, and did, is that another one or is that Estrella? Estrella coming in as well. Loads of AA coming in. Already some painful hits against Grand Strategy and Damned here. The loss of that Akav isn't ideal early on. I hear an A10. It is an A10 Thunderbolt AT coming in looking for a kill on the T80. The MiG-31 did come in to try and engage the Thunderbolt which is now being evac'd. Seed is once again flying in. But it could be now that there is some babysitting of the AA going on. We'll have to see. Everything's quiet at the other side now. Damned obviously pulled back to that defensive position. Is calling in a few reinforcements, but the focus of the fighting is still over at this side. Pivad's not looking too healthy on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen there. Dragons managing to scare away the tanks for the moment. There's also a couple of Milans in this building here. Unfortunately, two in one building means they're an easy target for that building to be bombed or artilleried. If the time comes that uh, Wero and Mandos decide to do that. LRS not going to fare very well here against all that firepower. They're in that building on their own. And obviously there's a lot of tanks, a lot of BMPs there. Plus the infantry moving up. LRS retreating. Smoke going down to provide some cover for those units moving in. Milan's at this side firing across but unfortunately losing sight of their targets. M1A1 moving in here but currently that area is being bombarded by artillery. An RM70 hitting that area. Reasonable amount of damage done, especially to the supply vehicles. Lots of Metis going out. Lots of Conkers in play as well. Obviously, the tanks can also fire their own missiles because they're T-80s. So, they're in a good position against the enemy M1A1s. Lots of smoke being used by Wero Mandos. Lots of ATGMs on both sides, really. Good smoking of that T-80 BVIZD, though. Lots of missiles were going in on it. Toe going in against this one at the back, but does manage to dodge. M109's in for the Eugen team now, trying to get shots on those T-80s. Trying to keep them suppressed. Good use of a BMP-2 here for fire support against the scouts in that building. Lots of smoke going down, trying to block the firing angle of those tow launchers. Obviously there has been progress made here by Wero and Mandos. They are encroaching on the tall buildings at this side of the map. And they have a lot of fire support. The BMP-2s make all the difference. Never underestimate the strength of fire support from those auto cannons. They are really scary. Sounds like we're getting another... Yeah, another barrage from the RM-70. On those buildings there in the middle. Looks like they may get a kill on a tow too. The other infantry just taking general fire at the moment. Tanks being good fire support here as well. BMP and T-80 BV firing missiles at the Abrams there. Seed and Cluster coming in. Cluster drops. 
Cluster gets a good hit on a T80 BV IZD but doesn't get the kill. Unfortunately, one cub does go down. But the laser guided bomber is destroyed in all of that. It's an unfortunate and expensive loss. F15. Might have a narrow escape here on one pip of health. The other side of the map remains fairly quiet. The focus of all four players mostly at this side. Where Armando slowly clearing out these buildings in the middle. Another fire team having to pull back. Abrams tanks taking lots of fire from various ATGM spread around. Humvee Toby moves forward and backward but is now taking shots from the tank cannons. He's getting very lucky at the moment as they continue to miss. And there it goes, it is finally dead. Artillery now coming in on this building with the Milans. As I said, it was an easy target with two Milans in one building. If they're going to hit anything, it's going to be that. Shots coming in from the tanks as well. The Milans in this building firing across that way, trying to get some good shots in. The range here is pretty good. Those tanks are just kind of moving into range for these guys. But I would expect that we're going to see some artillery on that building next. Good hit. Gets a kill on the T-80B. Look at the amount of artillery coming in here. Just absolutely mincing these buildings. Good aggression from Wero and Mandos. Over at the other side, we are seeing some skirmishing now. Airborne leader being pushed up at the front there. I assume to try and bolster the other forces that are around them. Good little bit of aggression to this side will make Wero and Mandos have to rethink their strategy, pull in some more reinforcements to make sure that side's covered. Over here, things not looking so hot for the Ugen team. They have been pushed right back into the point now. Abrams pushing around this side, about to get into a skirmish with all of those T-80s. Good hits against the T-80s, but there's a lot of fire coming in on the Abrams as well. One of those T-80BVs not looking so hot. The M1A1 smoke off and will retreat. T-80BV and IZD still pushing up. Infantry also continue to move forward. Where on Mandos always have a MiG-31 on station at the moment to engage any aircraft that seem to come in. Over at this side, still a little bit of skirmishing. Reinforcements arriving for Wero and Mandos now. Another M1A1 died just at the side of the screen there as we band back across the map. I hear an A10. I'm looking for the A10. Here it comes. Oh, veered off at the last second. MiG-31 is engaging it. MiG-31 does not get a kill. I don't think it even got a hit. I didn't hear any explosions. No, it is fine. I'm assuming this Thunderbolt can't see anything. It's taking fire now from anti-air. It's badly damaged and will have to evac. That did not get close to the front line before taking a lot of fire from the anti-air units on the ground. Losses are not going in favour of the Ugen team at the moment. Not looking great right now. They've got a lot less on the field. They've certainly lost more tanks. And those T-80s just keep coming back for more. And good mobility on those T-80s as well. Not just keeping them at one side of that point. Moving them over to the centre when needed. I notice a couple of sneaky M1A1s pushing around here from Grand Strategia. Trying to come in behind these units perhaps. Just need to be careful, there is a Conkers guarding the back. Over at this side. The skirmish continues. A hard push here by Damned. He's really going for it. Really applying some pressure. Could he make some progress here? 
Humvee Toes getting some kills. Also Toe 2 in play there. Good use of artillery by Mandos and Wero though. Doing a lot of damage to the infantry. Certainly now they outnumber. That's, I think that's changed the battle there. I believe now that Mandos and Wero. Mainly, mainly Wero here at the moment. Certainly now in a better position than he was just a few moments ago. Seed came in there, but has taken a lot of damage. Cluster coming in, taking a lot of fire from this side of the map. Somehow dodges all of those missiles. Cluster bombs going on the T-55. Gets a kill on the T-55, badly damages the BMP-1 and does get out at half health. A-10 rocker coming in there, just swinging back to this side. These guys now in the point, mostly Mandos, a little bit of Wero in here as well. Wero having to play both sides of the map currently. Good aggression. Look at those T-80BVs rolling in at that far side of the point. He's really pushing those against the tanks. They're not even fully healed here. He's just going for it. Smoke going down to cover them so they can push right up on the M1A1 Abrams, which are also badly damaged, incidentally. Plenty of AA up here as well. It's not like the tanks aren't supported. Oh, Humvee Toe. Misses its shot. Could have had a nice kill there. M1A1 Abrams taking missile fire from a Conkers at the right hand side there. It is backing off now, realizing its mistake. Over at this side, I hear that A10 coming in. A10 rocket goes down. The AA from Wero Mandos, obviously very strong. Loads of reinforcements coming in for Damned right now. Though look at all of this. Huge amount of airborne dragons and fire teams coming in. He saved up some points. He really wants to be aggressive and push this side. Not a lot going on over here at the far side of the map. That Tor 2 constantly firing missiles at this corner of the road. Trying to get hits on these transports and things. But obviously not a good position there. Just wasting missiles on something that you're never going to hit. All these reinforcements arriving at the front. Already taking fire from the BMP-1. The other side has fallen. There's no doubt in my mind now. Grand Strategy has been pushed back by the team there. Jet coming in here. Napalm Bomber going in for that building. Finishing off the infantry there. Good timing on all these reinforcements then. As they're going to be needed. Dragons should be able to engage these BMP-1s pretty effectively. I don't want to completely forget about the other side of the map. So while they start their little engagement, look at the dragons go. As I say, should be able to deal with the BMP-1s no problem. Over at this side, the command has entered the point. T-80PVK has entered this back point. Obviously, a lot of losses for both teams. But certainly, I think, more for Eugen's team at the moment. Loads of tanks in here. Along with... Are there actually any ATGMs left here? There's a Humvee tow further back. And there's a Sherrod in there, but... Uh, I think that's all there is. I feel like Grand Strategy and Damned are going to be low on ATGMs now. They have used a lot in this game and lost a lot to artillery. Artillery fire going back in against Wero and Mandos. Oh! Sheridan goes down. Not the biggest loss, I suppose, but every little counts. The two M1A1s that were over this side never seem to materialize anywhere effectively. 
Unless this is them in here. There's just one left in the middle of the point there. Trying to hold on. No command in that point for Grand Strategy and Damned. M1A1 command being called in now. Over at this side, the skirmishing continues. Has Damned made some progress? Maybe a little bit. There is an MI-24 VP moving in now, though. No AA up at the front there. An Avenger moving into position now. It needs to be closer, though. It needs to be within range of that MI-24 VP. Currently, it's busy firing its machine guns at the Vax Suchin in this building here. It could just be that it's on an attack move. Command manages to go back in that far point, but it's currently a plus two still to Wero and Mandos. F-16 Seed coming back in. Let's see. The Seed is firing, but it is taking fire back. Does manage to get two kills on some Cubs. Has taken a lot of damage and now goes back out. Clusters coming in here. Are we going to see some good hits? One cluster goes down. The other one should get out. Oh, taking fire from a MiG. Oh, down to one pip of health, but good strikes there. Lots of damage done. Another cub goes down. Grand Strategy and Dam doing a lot of damage to the air defense network here. That's three cubs gone down in quick succession. A T-80 BVK gone down as well. And Estrella. Just the two books remain here now. And I don't think they're being turned on and off. They are currently just on. Lots of mortars going in to try and scare off the commands at the back there. Over here, Damned unfortunately struggling to make progress. His squads are not in a very good shape. Although he will overwhelm what's here. The reinforcements coming in for Wero should be able to hold that line still. I don't think that Damned is going to make it into this point. Napalm coming in is going to change the game completely again. Massive amount of damage to that front building. Routed the airborne dragons as well. That will take fire as the evac. The fight continues over here. These T-80 BVs getting more kills against those Abrams. Sheridan's getting lots of missiles off. Good aggression here from where Mandos, though. Intent on taking the rest of this point. Slow and steady wins the race. They've got a lot of units at this side to worry about. But the T-80BVs are doing a good job at distracting those at the moment. MI-24P coming in there, along with some Conkers, to bolster that side against the tanks. T-64 BVK here, along with some T-80s in the middle, firing at these units, trying to get back in this point. Good positioning and coverage by our own Mandos here. Good angles on the buildings. Over at the other side. Some more reinforcements have arrived for Damned before the reinforcements have come in for Wero. His are coming in in BMP1, so they're a little bit slow. Remains plus two currently to Wero and Mandos. 18 minutes left of the game. It's hard fought by the Eugen guys. They are putting in the effort. Dragon firing at the BMP1 there. Good kill. Gets a kill on the infantry as well inside, obviously. Airborne squads here moving in to engage. Can the dragons get another kill? Oh, they do get a kill on the BMP, but not the infantry this time. They were deployed in time. Over this side. Mandos and Weros back in full control at this point. Back to a plus four, and they have a lot of units in this point now. Successfully moving the majority of their forces forward and getting it locked down. Still not quite seeing the very back of this point, but they have enough eyes on in general that they can shoot towards it. Napalm came in again over here. Absolutely devastating. Two new fresh airborne squads destroyed, and the airborne leader not looking good at all. Another airborne squad remains full health, but is having to retreat. And right now, I mean, it's looking very red here. 
I think Damned, unfortunately, has failed in that push. And Wero has held the line. A10 Thunderbolt goes down. Seed coming in there. Eagle coming in. Eagle gets the kill on the SU-25. A book goes down to the seed as well. And the seed does get out alive. This air defense net is almost wiped out. There is a single book left at the moment. A10 rocket coming in. Oh, there's a cub further forward. There is a cub in play. I thought they were all dead. Oh, there's two cubs. I genuinely thought they were all dead. That one is currently empty. I'm surprised there are any cubs left. Genuinely surprised. There's been at least four or five killed this game so far. Down goes the A10 to that cub. Unfortunate that Grand Strategy or Damned, whoever was controlling it, didn't manage to switch to attack the cub. I hear the telltale sound of some artillery being fired going in at these Abrams at the back here. Trying to stop them pushing forward. Oh, nice kill on the Toe Cobra as well. M1A1, Abrams Command going in here without any smoke cover. Trying to get in a good position where it can't be shot at, I think. They do manage to scare away the T-80. Oh, oh. Second firing of those rockets coming in. Lots of damage right on top of those tanks now. They are stunned. They are panicked. Lots of damage. They are out of action for the time being. Another Sheridan destroyed in the center of the screen there. By all of these ATGMs that are now set up in this position. We are back to neutralized at the moment though. As Grand Strategy and Dam do control this back point once more. Over at this side of the map though. Flooding in of reinforcements by Damned to try and hold the line here. Reinforcements equally being called in by Wero. I'm not convinced that Wero wants to push this point. I think he just wants to lock it down and hold. Where are these guys going? Pushing right up into those Maltrutin. Vaxushin, sorry. Lots of fighting here. Lots of infantry just ramming into each other. Napalm coming in again. There's very little AA at this side for the Ugen team. And the Napalm bombers seem to be able to just come in each time and do their thing. Didn't actually drop on this occasion though. I'm not sure why. Obviously lost their target. Over at this side, no sign of that command coming back in. For Wero and Mando. Surely there is one in the way. Indeed. There is a T-64 BVK and a BRDM command coming in. I think the M1A1 command was destroyed, however, in the meantime. And these two M1s, oh, at the back there, getting hit by artillery. Or mortars, but the damage is being done. Bradley goes down here in the middle of the map. There's the commands arriving back in that point. Back to a plus two. It will go to a plus four as there's no command in there for the Ugen team. Over at this side. Good use again of this rocket artillery. Those RM-70s absolutely devastating against infantry even in buildings. Really messing up those fire teams. The Vaktsuchin not looking so hot at the moment though. They've taken a lot of damage. Motschutzen also pushing up to try and assist, but also taking a lot of damage. Reinforcements are just arriving, though, for Wero. And some Modestralki also coming in now. Still very little movement over at this far side. Maybe a little bit of pushing by the Humvee toe there during the game, but nothing significant. Back over this side. That plus four continues. 12 minutes left of the game. And there's very little blue left at this side of the map. I think that's game. I don't see how Grand Strategy and Damned can come back from this. 
They've taken a lot of losses. The map is very, very red. And I think it's only a matter of time before Wero and Mando simply push through into the back point here. They have enough tanks to do it. They've got good air support. They've got good anti-air on the ground as well. Speaking of clusters and aircraft. Those Tunguskas surely engage. I think that was a ground targeting by that cluster in case they lost eyes on. Takes a lot of damage. Does get out alive. Sea Knights coming in but immediately taking fire from the Tunguskas. One Tunguska does go down, but surely both those Sea Knights are dead. Abrams here at the back also taking lots of fire. Lots of mortar fire coming in still as well. Over at the other side, Damned still persisting with his aggression there. Some Sheridans coming in as well. Little birds being rushed in now. I think this is the last ditch attempt to push. There's a cub over here now though. There's still the Biriusas that's been there since the start of the game. Napalm Bomber came in. Good hit again on those front buildings. Ten minutes left. If somehow Damned could get a breakthrough at this side and get into that point, then it may slow things down. But I don't think that the Eugen team can pull this back. They simply don't have enough units on the field anymore. And they've lost a lot of aircraft. They've lost a lot of tanks. And I think more than anything it's the tanks that are important here. Because they're up against a lot of T-80s. I think the other team have just done a really good job at keeping those alive. T-80BV coming in again so many t80s in play in this game and so many seem to be available i hear the telltale sound of the rm70s firing again firing over here it seems chasing the units out of this point completely just one m1 abrams remains in there Reinforcements coming in at this side. Lots of dragons trying to deal with these T-80s. Plenty of damage being done to the T-80 there. Not enough to kill it though. Surely the dragons can finish it off. They just need a good hit. Preferably a side shot. And they're missing a lot here. That's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. We finally got a hit. Can it finish the job? Come on, dragons. At least kill that T-80. SU-25 AT coming in here. Cobra coming in at the back. All those other T-80s moving up as well now. Even if that BV goes down, which I'm not convinced it will, I don't think those engineers' dragons are going to do the job. That's a lot of tanks coming in. Tunguska's all over that helicopter now. F-16 gets a nice kill, but very likely will die before it gets out of the map. Look at all of the MiGs coming in. Surely that F-16 goes down here. Look at all that. Yeah, there it goes. That was a lot of AA missiles. I'm genuinely impressed by the amount of AA that Wero and Mandos have been able to mount this game. They have lost a lot of Cubs and they still have Cubs in play. It's genuinely quite impressive. Unfortunately, Damned at this side has failed as well. Bringing in more Sheridans there, but there's no contest. He's lost too many units, unfortunately. There's absolutely nothing at the other side either. With just under eight minutes left of the game, I think that's it. Plus 10. 10 seconds to the win. Well played to everyone involved though. A hard fought battle. But very well done to Wero and Mandos. I think we expected them to win this one. But well played guys. Let's have a, a quick look there. Obviously yeah. Significant difference in kills to losses. Effectively. What, 15,000 there, basically? Compared to... 
7,000. Heading towards 8. T80 BV, absolutely mangling stuff. Yeah, the T80s were doing an amazing job. Tunguska did really well. That was the one that... It was brought in earlier, but at the end it got a lot of kills. Obviously, the only shame is we don't see everybody's kills here. We we're only seeing one player's. But we get to see both the Eugen team stuff doing their damage. I say, very impressed with the seed jets in that one. They did manage to get a lot of cubs. Like, speaking of, cub there. I'm, I'm really curious how many cubs died. One cub? Two, three, four. Come on, there was at least five. A book. Another cub. Five cubs and a book. That's a lot of AA to take out. Tunguska. I'm just looking to see how many. Uh, the seed was doing a really good job. Genuinely quite impressed with the seed that game. I don't think that Mandos and Wero were quite microwing them too much that game though. Really well played. Let's hop into game number two. Welcome back to game number two. This time on Ripple. The other map bands were Rocks and Tension. And the choice was Ripple. Division bands for this match were 27th and 79th and 3rd Armoured and 5th Panzer. The choices were obviously 24th and 8th for Mandos and Wero, and 39th and 119th for Damned and Grand Strateger. Grand Strateger and Damned, over on the right in red, and over on the left in blue, Mandos and Wero this time. Obviously they have switched factions and therefore colours. So... Let's have a look at what Mandos and Wero have down. We'll start with blue again. Aero Rifles in a Huey heading up to the side of Alpha into the forest there. A Bradley Recon unit heading up to the front there. And we have a Fist heading up to the front line as well in the middle of the map. Then we have a huge chunk of units here. We have... A fire team dragon in a Bradley, we have an M1IP, we have Chaparrals, we have M1IP Command, we have Supply, two Stingers, an Engineer's Dragon, two Itos and two Toe Twos, and another fire team dragon in a Bradley. All getting spread out across the front line here, not being too aggressive at all this time. And over at this far side of the map we have an LRS heading up towards India and getting into the tree line there. We have a, another big chunk of units back here. So we have Engineers Dragon times two. We have some Rangers Command. We have an M1A1 Abrams. And we have a couple of squads of Rangers and a Rangers Dragon in Blackhawks. All pushing up to get into this tree line here. This is pretty aggressive trying to get right into these trees at the back to try and stop Damned and Grand Strategy getting into India. Okay, fairly aggressive at this side. That is where Wero is positioned. And the majority of the forces this side are Mandos. Over on the other side of the map for the Eugen team. We have an MI 24K. Which doesn't appear to have a command at the moment. I was trying to see where it was going. We have a couple of Razvedka here pushing into the centre of India. And this is damned at this side. At the back there he's got... A Supply, an Igla, Modestrocki, Sapriapio, a Sherterm S, a Cub, and a T80 PVK, all pushing up pretty aggressively into this side of India. An interesting thing about this map, remember, is that this is actually on a hill. It doesn't look it when you're really zoomed out, but the entire point is on a hill, so it's very hard, if I just bring up the line of sight tool, to see either side of that. It dips off down this way. So you don't get very good eyes on that building even because of the position of that big barrel stops you seeing that way down the hill. So you actually need to be in this tree line here 
to actually see down this way. And I don't know if that actually counts as cover, because it's small trees. Okay, in the center. Grand strategy was Spetsnaz grew, pushing up towards the middle here, not quite going into golf. Another Spetsnaz grew here, pushing up to that side of the center. We also have a Motraz Vedka at the back here, pushing up to this area of the center. Plenty of recon in there. Here we've got a lot of units from Grand Strategy. We have some Supply, some Iglers, some Conkers. We've got a Strella, a Cub, and the T80 BVK. T80 BVK looks like it's going to drive in a Foxtrot up to Echo and then up to the front line. And everything else coming through Hotel. Over at this side, for Damned, we have some more Razvedka being spread out into these tree lines. We have Grand Strategy with some Spetsnaz OP and some standard Spetsnaz pushing into these buildings here. Obviously, certainly going to hold those buildings, but those units may need to push across into this big forested area sooner rather than later. We also have an MI24 VAA chopper coming in at this side. A BRDM2 pushing up to the front in Alpha there. And that's our lot. No, there is a Spetsnaz commander right at the back here, which is going to come all the way up here and deposit at the back of Alpha to try and get in and cap it. Okay, big spread for both teams. Let's get this show on the road. Obviously, plenty of tanks available for Damned and Grand Strategy. T-80 BVs and T-80 U's and UDs, making them very, very strong. It's going to depend on a good amount of ATGMs and anti-tank capability from ground and aircraft for Mandos and Wero here. Because certainly Damned and Grand Strategy win the long game if they can build up enough tanks and they're not destroyed. But it depends how fast Mandos and Wero can push this. They need to be aggressive in this game and they need to keep those tanks destroyed if they see them. Early caps from both teams on those back points. Eyes on Spetsnaz here, obviously. Arrow rifles taken out by the MI-24 VAA at the bottom there. Skirmishing happening over here. Those Razvedka engaging on those choppers. But the Rangers are down on the ground. MI-24K has been destroyed by the F-16. Igla not managing to finish the job there. Command has arrived in this point for Mandos and Wero. They have taken it an early plus one. But plus one isn't everything. It's just a plus one. T80 BVK rolling into that point now though. For Damned and Grand Strategy. Currently a plus two. As Bravo has been capped. But we will shortly see Echo being capped by Grand Strategy. Eagle came in there, got a nice kill on the MI-24 VAA, but it did its job. It took out those aero rifles that were coming in. I think we're going to see very little skirmishing at that side of the map for the time being. Everything's going to be going on here. Unfortunately for Damned, it's not looking great at the moment. His early forces are surrounded as Mandos and Wero did manage to drop off these units here. Mainly Wero at this side, obviously. T-80 BVK going up against the Rangers close range. Not a good idea. Attack marker going down on that T-80 BV. Lots of reinforcements being called in there. And they really do need to take control of this point now. Because Wero's come out on top. He's got reinforcements coming in. His ranges are looking pretty good at the moment. He's still got supply available as well to rearm these guys a little bit. Another cap at the other side for Damned and Grand. Currently a plus one to them. 
And that's simply because this Mutt CV still hasn't made it into this point in the centre for Mandos and Wero. Sapri RPO and the Motostralgi having to retreat here in the middle now. Eagle coming in. Not sure what that was going for. And my 24 VP called in at the top corner of the map there by Grand Strategy heading towards the front line. Skirmishing has begun over there. Fighting Dragons being dropped off in that forest. Bradley's pulling back now. My 24 VP needs to be careful here. There is a Stinger in play. Stinger engages, misses its shot. Big 29 coming in here. And that's just to scare off any. A. Oh, never mind. FOE Phantom is in play, going for that chopper, takes it out, takes a nasty hit from the SU-27S. SU-27S going for the Apache there. Gets some good hits but doesn't get the kill, also takes a lot of damage itself. I thought it might have got the kill on the other jet as it came round but it didn't. SU-27S needs to be evac now. It's currently still flying around that side of the field. I think it's been forgotten about. It's coming back round. Goes over the air defense. It's going to be very lucky if it survives this. Nope, it goes down to the stinger. Over at this side, reinforcements have arrived for the Ugen team. But reinforcements have also arrived for Mandos and Wero. Wero pushing up through the forest here to clear out the remaining forces there. Not a shock, you're already dead. Sapri not looking great. These reinforcements have arrived, but already engaging on those rangers, so will be weaker by the time everything else catches up. Neither team trying to push into the middle here. Surprised we haven't seen a sneaky command try to push in and just grab it. Over at this side, lots of skirmishing going on now. Unfortunately, these Spetsnaz kind of in these buildings here, not utilizing their RPO launches because they're out of range. Really, they need to be in this forest, like these Sapri RPO, getting up close and personal with their competition. T-80Us here. Strike Eagle coming in. This is going to be a nice kill on the T-80U. And it gets gibbed. Very nice kill. The power of the Strike Eagle coming back for another pass. Going for another kill. V is off at the last second because of the MiG-29. And it goes down to the MiG-29 and the MiG-27S. Nice kill. One less Strike Eagle to worry about. There can only be two of them. And once they're gone, they're gone. Getting rid of those is very important for those T-80Us and UDs. Over at this side. Damned putting up a hell of a fight in this forest now. More reinforcements arriving, including a commander here. To try and bolster his other units, I assume. But his infantry looking quite weak. Those Modestralki not looking healthy. One squad dead, another squad almost dead. Sapri RPO hanging on in there. This squad, not so much. T80 BVK pushing right up here. Reinforcements have arrived at this side as well for Wero though. So he's going to be able to keep the pressure up in a big way. Over at the other side of the map, Thunderbolt is in there. Getting attacked by the MiG-27S which gets the kill. Thunderbolt does go down. Well, the Spetsnaz commander was killed in that point. It was a bit of a suicide run by that A-10, I think, to kill that command. The job was done. It was successful. Back to a plus one for Mandos and Wero. 
32 minutes just under left of this game. And Mandos and Wero also have taken the middle point now. It is being contested by Grand Strategy with that T80 BVK, though it is in there on its own and not smoked. Whereas that Mutt CV is smoked. Mutt CV is being retreated out. T80 BVK will take that point. Nope, Mutt CV going back in. T80 BVK has been destroyed at this side though, so this point falls to Mandos and Wero. Good push going on both sides here, really, for Wero. He's looking in a pretty good position. He's going to take both the forests. Cub there trying its hardest to assist, but really struggling to get shots on things because it's down a hill and is actually hitting the hill. You see it missiles were exploding there I think it was trying to hit the Blackhawks I will say damn looking a little bit better here now support from the MI24 and the infantry managing to push up looking a bit better at this side than he was before resupply coming in as well Marker going down over here. Tack beacon on the cub there. TADBVK did have to retreat as it was badly damaged. In fact, it routed in the middle there. Still, that Mud CV in the corner being smoked. I dislike that tactic of just smoking your command constantly, but it is viable because of the way the game's mechanics work. Because you can even artillery the corner of the point and you can just move the command out the way in the smoke. And you don't lose your cap. A little bit of an air skirmish going on over here. Seed in. Did get the kill on the cub. Oh, F-16 gets a kill on a MiG-29 there. The seed did go down in all of that. MiG-29 chasing down this phantom. Unable to get the kill, does evac off the map. SC-25 AT coming in at this side. Those choppers doing some work in the middle here. Look at them go. Not sure what they're firing at. I think they're firing at the supply at the moment. The SC-25 AT lost sight on those tanks. Does look like it might have... Yep, yeah, here it comes. Good kill. Can it get the other one as well? Oh, beautiful strike by the SU-25 AT. Very nice there from Damned. Multiple kills going for the Toe Cobra as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. Should have probably evac there though. Here comes the F-16. F-16 gets the kill on the SU-25. And my 24 also goes down. Currently a plus four to Mandos and Wero. Control that middle point still. Have managed to pull their command out of there. Still smoking it though. Command back in the corner of Alpha at this far side. For Grand Strategy. Artillery coming in on the tow twos there. T-80U trying to get a kill on the Bradley. T-80U not looking so healthy there. Quite aggressive here from Grand Strategy, pushing up these units over open ground. There is an Apache in play though. It's going to make short work of those tanks. Good hit on the T-80 BVK already. Another missile going out. It's currently stunned. Second missile misses. Does manage to smoke. Over at the other side of the map, it's looking good for Wero over there. Damned has been pushed right back. Seed coming in here. Not sure what it's going for. I think it came in to try and attack the Apache, but there's so many anti-air jets. There's a Strike Eagle in as well. MiG-29 comes in to try and assist, but uh, definitely outnumbered. 27 minutes left of this game. It's looking very much like it's already over. I'm sorry to say for the Ugen team. Demdung Grand Strategy putting up a good fight. Really, really nice to see them taking part in the tournament as well. Greatly appreciate their uh, effort there.
Even if they're not the best players, it's really nice to see them taking part. But Wero and Mandos. Good map control here. Keeping more units alive. Strike Eagle over at this side. Waiting to get a tasty kill. Another T-80U went down over here. Seed in the middle. Gets a kill in the Cub. Sapriapio making a little bit of progress in the forest here. Really needs to be up here to really force Mando's back. He's managed to get a tank up this way. And there's the surrender from Damned. Commiserations to Damned and Grand Strategy of La Team. But congratulations to fellow Leopard 2 conservationists. Mandos and Wero who go through to the next round. Again, a bit of a difference in kills to losses there, but good effort on Damned's part. He was keeping up with the other two. Grand Strategy struggling a bit more at the other side. Those kills and losses, I'm just going to scroll down here so we can have a look at these ones. T80U managed to get at least one kill, but was taken out by the Strike Eagle. Don't think the T80U didn't get many kills, unfortunately, that game. It just wasn't in the right position to do so. But very well played to both teams. Thank you again to Grand Strategy and Damned for taking part. Really nice to see Eugen taking part in one of these community events again. Thank you everyone for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon for some more Warner.